Hello, hi. Here I have my uh, hand hand generated uh, painted on stencil, and I'm gonna print it, and I'm gonna do another blend, and the blend is gonna kind of line up with this previous printed background. Okay, so now with this one, we kind of got a little multicolor registration happening, which means alignment of colors. So, <clears throat> first of all, you make a setup sheet. Draw your borders. If your borders are a half inch, one inch, quarter of an inch, or whatever it is, measure from the outside of the paper, make a dot, measure from the outside of the paper, make a dot, draw a line. Do that on all four sides. And another thing with mul multiple color printing, we need to print all the colors in the same direction. If you change directions, if you print one this way and then one that way, it is not gonna line up too good. So, so the screen mesh flexes and it stretches. So if you print all the colors in the same direction like I'm doing, the colors will line up. So on the setup sheet, I drew a little arrow and that tells me the indication of the pull. So I got my borders, my arrow showing which way I pull. And then also too, I got these marks on the paper that indicate where my, my register marks are gonna be. So just like pulling them in the same direction, it's good to have them in the same general position, each color. So I printed the first color, used the setup sheet to align it, and then, you know, put it here, looked through, moved it around, and when I got it lined up, I taped it down so it doesn't move, and then I set these register points. So with these, it's just like you can cut up a credit card or you don't, you don't want them too thick, kind of some thin plastic or heavy paper, but I, you take the tape and line it up with, with, with the edge, flush with the edge of the paper, and then the paper goes in these stops every time. So some people you'll see will have six points, four points. Um, I've worked at Modern Multiples, Serial Press, and a bunch of other places and printed tons and tons and hundreds of concert posters and art prints myself. I've always done three-point registration. Okay. So another thing you should consider, when you're doing multiple color prints, have your bad ones at the top of the stack. See, these are kind of defective ones, eh, okay. And I'm gonna put up these posters on the street, so even these bad ones are kind of good, but sort your junk sheets into the top of the stack. So you start out with the junk sheets because if there's any problems or misalignment in the registration, you're, you're burning bad sheets. Don't be like some of these people that like, oh, I printed a bad one, and then they have the trash can and they just put it right in the trash can. And matter of fact, junk sheets, if you save them, and you print on them and print on them, people like to collect them. There's a hashtag on Instagram called Test Print Tuesday. Every Tuesday, hit Test Print Tuesday. So each sheet goes in the marks the same place every time, and it'll print in the same exact spot. Okay, so I'm gonna do another blend here. So thin your inks down. They should pour like this. Just thin them with a little bit of water, a little bit of ammonia, or if you wanna get fancy, get whatever ink line you're using. You can, uh, you can buy their thinner. Or if you wanna get, get technical, use, use the blend as a reference. So I'm gonna put the, the red about where I want the red, and this red I know is gonna spread a little bit. The rest is going to be black. Hold on. I'm using TW brand inks. Nice and flat. All the best fine art printers throughout the world use TW if they can get it. It's an acrylic based ink. It goes a long way. The colors are really nice. It's a local Southern California product. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna show you again how to start a blend. 
that's another thing. If you're having your inks on the floor, make sure you don't have them where you can kick them over. Okay, so look, I'm going to start a blend. Remember that? Okay. Get the blend going. So flood it straight, a 45 degree angle. Print, right away flood. This is just a junk sheet. There you go, starting to do its thing. to check your work as you go. Sort of look at it and make sure it's doing what you want to do. No smears, no smudges, don't get your fingers on the posters. Sort, and, sort of getting used to my little uh, driveway set up here. Hey, poster goes in the tabs every time. As soon as you print, you flood so it doesn't dry out. All right. So anyways, stay tuned for something else. I'll think of something else. Bye-bye.